Uh, oh, 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 excuse me, I, I must have dozed off. It's rather warm in here. Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Oh, I seem to have missed my chance, so I, Siegfried of Katerina, offer my deepest gratitude and a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. To your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Have you heard? Somewhere, hidden right here in Irithil, is a deep dungeon. And even below that, the profaned capital, home of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me, I've a grave promise to keep. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. Yeah, so anyway, it's been a whole bloody month since, um, recording Aerophil, so I'm happy I can finally play again. This is my crappy John Sekiro cosplay. Interested to see how this goes. Been better with the, uh, Shadow set, but we don't have access to it just yet. Same thing, just swap this over, um, from the Tharon Ring to that. Should be a grand old time, I'm sure. Right, actually, right now, Silver Cat would do us well. So, we got two of our Irvil slave buddies. Said, we descend. And I said, on top of that, we descend further. R1, 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 miss him entirely. Get him that time. No, you don't. Right, now I can swap this over back to Flynn's and run forward. Alright, last fire which we ever have to deal with on camera. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh, kind of just gave up, didn't you, mate? Oh, thank you, I've already got some, but always a pleasure. Hey, buddy. The Pontiff sucks. Oh, and I killed him too. You do that. What's going on? Other than the fact we should be able to see Smoldering Lake from up here. Could it be? Alva, Seeker of the Spurned? Three. One. Okay, let's see how many things we can go for. He does have pocket for so we've got to be very careful. Right. Oh. Uh huh. Shinobi execution. Well, at least we can uh, grab one of my favorite armor sets in a, in a little bit. 
Oh, fuck me. My, uh, my speaking abilities have gone out the door. A metaphorical door, I assure you. Right, Irifil Dungeon. It's been a bit. If only I had good luck. Mm hmm. No idea how I'm muting that a bit. Or oh, quite in quietening that down. Alright. Oh, of course. Of course not. Gotcha. I have to pop a coin. I'd like this set. Alright, Ir Irifil Dungeon. For the uninitiated. We're gonna have some fun times in here. Some very fun times. Oh, while I'm thinking of it. If you're wearing the right gear. You can, posi you can position yourself with, you know, a tad better, but still. It's not half bad. Prostration might be better. I, don't, I can't remember. Anyway, Irithville Dungeon. Yeah, this guy's meant to trigger as you come past there. If, you, if you're too close to the cell, he doesn't trigger. Alright, so Jailers. Boy, do I love them. They're, uh, they're fun. They're not that bad, once you know how to deal with them. But I wouldn't call them the best enemies in the game or anything. Okay, three swings is all we need. Alright, so, when they do that, uh, Red Lantern thing, that's gonna drain our health. Um, it will come back. Kinda sucks, though. Alright. This will be a good case in point. The real thing you gotta be worried, uh, you gotta be worried about is their pseudo grab attack of when you get too close. Um, and by that I mean when they try to smush you down with their little red hot poker. And I ain't talking about the plant. Nor is it a euphemism for once. Ho oh ho. Okay, this is weird. Hold on, let me check the Elgato. Okay, it's way dark. Yeah, it's way darker on the Elgato for once. It huh, how about that? Hmm. Right, so yeah, health's come back. I'm gonna kind of skimp on the reading from now on, I think. I'm editing a lot of stuff still, a lot of parts of this, and there's like 10 minutes worth of dialogue I'm just gonna cut from certain bits from now on, I think. Because <laughs> it's not particularly entertaining to listen to me reading the descriptions for five minutes at a time. There we go. Alright, so we got the jailbreaker's key, which allows us to go out the window. Shut up. We'll do that in one second. Who knows, we might be invaded tonight. That'd be crazy. Gotcha. Hey, jail gloves. Cool. Damn it. Of course. If we had a normal katana, the poke would be awesome. Fuck you guys. Let's see if we can do it. There we go. Running R1. The true spirit of all katana wielders. I'm just quite bad at it. Due to the short nature of this fine oriental blade. But I totally earned from lurking that mimic. Yeah, it was me, not the fire demon. 100%. Right. There are a bunch of zombies around here. They kind of disappear after this floor, thankfully. The old sorcerer set, which is neat. Not the best, but neat. Hey, buddy. only reason I'm bothering is because he gives us great magic shield, which I will probably never ever use. But still, it's something. So, you know. Prisoner Chief's ashes, can't get him yet. Maybe once we have a key. Hmm. 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 Right, Silver Cat time. 
at the window. And uh, that's, that's weird. We could see... I think we could see the body, actually. Huh, that's weird. Didn't realize that's how it worked. There's a bonfire over there. In the, in the profane capital of Z-Fighting. Ho ho! Um, hmm. Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. So, if you're a sorcerer, you gotta wait till this long to get... Get a very important ring. Sniper champ. Alright. Butcher knife guy. Out. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Gotcha. Shinobi execution. Meanwhile, Mimic Tan over here. Enemy head. Will grant us Esther shards on the inside. And we'll try. Actually, no, we're just going to kill this one. Watch it kill me. That'd be great. Nothing? Fantastic. Oh well. Kind of wish I'd have got the uh, symbol of avarice, which I do not have. Right. Anyway. Onwards. And by onwards, I mean backwards. Yeah, so that's Profane Capital. And you're looking at... 70% uh, of it. Hmm. Yeah, so I don't know how this area was meant to end. If those leaks and stories can be believed about... The, uh, the order of levels and such. Oh, there should be a crystal lizard here, but it got scared from... Little mummy and daddy fighting upstairs. We don't really have to bother with this room, so I'm not going to. Mostly because there's three jailers, and I don't have much of a reason to fuck with them. See you later, nerds. Uh, that's a shortcut. See you there in about ten minutes. In a few moments. Oh, and the uh, Peter Dutton-looking guys. Um, failed dragon experiments. If you don't know who Peter Dutton is... Yeah, feel free to look him up. Aussie politicians are a special kind of shit sometimes. Skeleton warriors. Got a like. Fantastic. Right. Here we go. Now, there are a bunch of our friends here. One, two. See you later, fuckers. Let's see if we can bait any of them down the pit. The pit of hollows. You? Really? Perfect. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Fantastic. Open the door. Our crossbow mate's upstairs trying to shoot me, of course. Drink up, because I'm probably going to get one of these back in a little bit. Actually, where is it? Bring up the evil eye. Pop that on for a sec. Are you kidding me? I, I didn't... That, that wasn't good enough for a backstab. Fuck you, game. How dare you. Right. We have Axeman. By Axeman, I mean Butcher Knifeman. True Shinobi over here. Come on, now it's the porcelain. Fear John Sekiro. And then we got that one guy up back. Staring menacingly at us. Yeah, so if it wasn't very apparent, these are fucking reskins. The the uh, of our friends back at the undead settlement. Cause reasons, I guess. Uh, I got no clue. I I don't even know how development went on this fucking thing. I should go check out more Snack Covenant while I'm at it. Rob. Should not be execution. Oh no. Of course not. Alright, here we go. Cue the boss music. R1, R1, R1. Can't parry this guy. Can't parry uh, Guardian A. Unfortunately. Uh-huh. 
Raccoon, you have betrayed me for the final turn. Well, that individual rat jam. The rest probably will betray me further. Ah, fuck you, giant. You screwed up my R1. Oh. This isn't particularly hard or dangerous. I just, just gotta be careful he doesn't stop me too many times in a row. And the rats don't fuck me up and stun lock me. Like this one will attempt to possibly do. Go, my servants, the rat kick. Man, yeah, that's what, that's what missing. That's what was missing from Dark Souls 3. A rat covenant, of course. Now, uh, that would have actually un unironically been cool, even though it technically isn't the game. It's the Baron Watchdogs. Hmm. I don't know which Sekiro music I'm putting over this. See, that's the plan, at least. Alright. Another chunk. So we can upgrade something to plus 7. Because we've already got the flamberge and the whip up to plus seven. Fantastic. Profane Flame, one of my favorite pyromancies in this game. Flame Swath from Dark Souls 2. Pretty cool. I like it a lot. Uh, definitely, well, you know, worse in this game, I guess. Because of how movement works. But still, I like it quite a bit. Casting at your feet. It's uh, pretty handy for that. Derived from the play Profane Flame. Ooh. Fire from the sky. Incinerated naught but human flesh. And Bonfire Chan. It's here. Now backwards. Yep. You want to take your little Seikiro shortcut, you can. Oop. Fine work. Pointless. Oh, did we kill them all? We killed them all. And the women. And the children. It's Siegward. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. Oh, look at me. Trapped like a rat. But you needn't worry. I've just been sitting here wearing my options. The moment has almost come. I just need a bit more time. My liberation requires a key. But the key is outside. Hmm, a riddle for the ages. My liber- And it's not the key you would expect. Also, I love the fact you can see the texture seam on the hand. Fantastic. Awesome, really? So you can totally walk there, just no point. Sadly. Yeah, so the plan tonight is to clear the whole profane capital. Ho ho! That's my goal, at least. Yeah, it's probably going to be the uh, Carthus Curve Greatsword and not Vista Plus 7, I think. Alright. Uh huh. And R2. Uh, dead. The Mimic becomes the dead. Alright, now back up. Yeah, we got some. Dragon, Slayer, Lightning, Great Arrows. Fantastic. Forged by the Giant Smith and Anolondo, I suppose. Mm hmm. Oh, old friend. And a loop. Lightning Bolts. Ah, yes, of course. Now we wander ever closer to the rats. Pickaxe. I think we need to pick a different shinobi tool for this. The 
grappling hook, of course. Don't have a loaded axe on me. Well, a fully upgraded one, that is. Technically, the fully, uh... Yeah, the fully upgraded loaded axe would be a great axe in the offhand. I suppose. Which would be a pretty cool build, actually. I'd like to try that. I know Moose Torrent did it in his, um... For a Sekiro cosplay video. That was a while back. He makes good stuff. On you, Moose. Alrighty, what have you got for me, Chucklefuck? The Dark Clutch Ring. Hmm, I wonder what clutch could mean. Perhaps it means it's holding. No, no, of course not. It must mean clutch isn't coming in handy. Couldn't possibly mean clutching. That's far too obvious. Old Cell Key. Um, yeah, that's the one for Sig. For some reason. And not the one for color. Oh yeah, um, Poise Basilisks. You know. Cause. Out of the way, you. You're the proverbial sheep. Locking the lamb. In that Simpsons episode. Alright, fuck this. Where are you? Flint. Shinobi Execution. Shinobi Execution? Slaughtered by John Sekiro. This slime's kind of weird. Just saying. So we're going to have 12 of even bad boys. In a moment. Yeah, that's... That's from Ariandel, of course. Alright, why am I skipping it? So jailbreak is key. The very architecture appears to be a cruel joke for jails played on would-be escapees. Meanwhile, the key to the oldest cell in Irithville Dungeon. At the feet of a giant. Soul of an unknown rat. A noble creature, I assure thee. Dung pies. What an age we live in. Alright, here's the fun room. Alright, let's get the uh, composite bow out. Hey, buddy. Amazing enemy design. Thank you, Miyazaki. Right. So I guess this is the way to go. Okay, no, I haven't upgraded either properly. Right. Yoink. Excuse me, uh, my jailer friends. We out. Wholeheartedly so. Where's me katana? There we are. <laughs> no. I wish. Man, it would it'd fucking rock if the dragon stuff worked properly, but alas, it's kind of crap. Alright, elevator. Up we go. And to here we are. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Back to the room of Helnar. And we have acquired the Elva set. One of the sickest looking armor sets in the game. I'm probably going to be sticking with the Elva Helm for the rest of the game, to be honest. That's my go-to armor choice. With the sunset set. Well, the chess piece at least. Oh, -ho. it's pretty cool. Alva, of course, is a gentleman from DS2, who we just murked. Some good stuff. But yeah, the body doesn't always work with um, all fashion, but generally the helmet's pretty fucking solid with most. You can get it to work with a lot of different armor. Not all the combinations, I'm just doing it random, but still. Right. Where's me Sekiro armors? There we are. Come wolf. Alright, where's Flynn's? Dumb question. And let's see, which bow is doing us better? 
<laughs> yeah, you know what? Fuck it. All right. Let's have a test, shall we? We have become Genichiro. Lord Genichiro. I missed. Wait a minute. Hold on. What happens if we do this? The weapon up. Does that let us go through? Gotcha. <laughs> Fuckers. All right. You guys are shits. Alright, for real though, let's do this. Come on. Uh oh. Ah, come on, fuckers. Alright, time to swap to rolling R1. The bow. Um, you gotta be careful with that, uh, little lunge they do. The hitbox is active for quite a while. Don't underestimate this rolling R1. It's actually incredibly useful. Especially, especially against, uh, invaders and hosts that don't understand how it works. And the fact that, you know, you can't parry arrows. That that works out quite well against parry champs. Alright. Let's be done with this. I don't know if this is Guardian Ape or Al, but let's see how we go here. Oh. Yep, so we got nail bite, so we can't roll properly. A heavy roll for the meantime. Yep. Bingo. That was by accident. That meant to open the menu. Right. Will he try to hit me through the wall? Of course he will. He's a Dark Souls 3 enemy. What the hell did you expect? Hello there, buddies. Yeah, so, uh, failed experiments. Cool. Um, didn't get the memo from Eldia that shit, f shit was fucked. And please give up. Uh, they have some, uh, durability, um, destroying goodness over there. Yep. Alright, where'd your buddy go? How about you don't? Right. Looks like the kind of guy that would tell us he has approximate knowledge of many things, Frank the Human Boy. They can drop some pretty cool stuff. The, um, the short tail spear and the, uh, um, what is it, the tailbone short sword, which is more like a dagger than anything. But they have that little wind weapon art. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, my katanas. Meanwhile, let's have a read, shall we? The Profane Coal. Weapon Infusion. Preserved in an icy skull. It's the fire for burn the profane capital. Dark blood and hollow. You have to wait this fucking long for a luck build to become viable. Alas, we cannot help. Yet, but that will change soon. Alright, here we go. Chained Ogre, round one. Now there's, there's our gourd seed, I guess. Awesome, thank you, man. Sorry, our prayer bead, of course, of course. Hey, do you like mimics? I do, I just fucked up the menu input. Man, and the craziest thing is, watching that uh, footage back of me trying to 
what the lightning earns in the crow nest and seeing that the game totally does fuck up sometimes and you do drop one and it counts it as everything because from soft i guess i don't know uh oh the tatsumaki sep sepi cat i can't fucking pronounce it properly the whirlwind kick get out of here ryu all right two levels fantastic we shall be level 60 the Xanthus Ashes, and one more screamy lad. Man, what was Dojin up to in here? Was it Dojin? Was that? Yeah, that was the guy, right? The scientist from Seikiro. Shadows die thrice. Right. Well, anyway. Profane capital, Ahoy. We'll get the title any second now any second now now if we can stay alive that'd be ideal because i don't want to clear that room again lancel of a weary weary warrior meanwhile fun times got a pretty rad spear it was super op once upon a time less so nowadays Yeah, I was going to say it's a weapon from a more civilized age, but then again, not really. Let's change up the fashion a little, I think. Let's go full cornix. Haha. -ha. Fantastic, Sekiro. So wait a minute. Huh. What happens if we do this? Okay, much of much just oh, that's right, because the Flynn's ring's not on. Of course, of course. I'm stupid. Yep, cool. Well. Uh, there was a great man named Ladismith Gilligan. He was a true champion, a true friend. I was gonna say Aishimai, but it's the wrong thing. The only thing he sells is miniatures. Oh, Ponta. Um, you need the same plastic surgeon I have. So you can totally um, jump along there if you want. If you land here, you can technically hide in this window. It's pretty cool. A lot of cool little... There. Yeah, we'll try that again. Cool little hidey places. Oh, what's that? Some goodies, I suppose. Well, I should have bought more coins. Damn. What happens if we ran forward, then climb the ladder? Well, that would happen. Dickbag would show up and get very upset. That's the uh, flamethrower hammer. Pretty cool. Not the best, but still, I like it a lot. Kinda not great, but what you gonna do? Shinobi Deathblow. Now he's gonna do his shielding. We gotta be careful. Yep. Very good. Sekiro. Yeah, so, um... I had some interesting statues back in the day. Before everything got burnt out. You know, Jojo poses. The like. Hmm. And that lovely sun. Beautiful. Yeah, and I realized I totally sandbagged Dark Dragon Peak. My bad. We'll head back there one day. Oh yeah, and you could probably see it, but uh, that room. With the weird, uh, weirdness. Maybe that was meant to be a place and it got cut, because you never end up there. Kind of strange, I don't get it. Hmm. Chris Lizard Ahoy. But what if, instead of taking a dumb jump, we went for this one. With a Shinobi Death Blow. Beautiful. And no, I have not been playing Sekiro in the off time. I wish I have, but I wish I had of, but nah. I've been doing much more valuable stuff like uh, Astral Chain for vids. 
And, uh, editing. That's basically all I've done this bloody week. Oh, boy. Man, editing this playthrough is like an, almost a full-time job, in fact. Holy crap. One day I'll have the guts to open a Patreon, perhaps. Alright, but it's not going to be for this content. Hey there, buddy. So, uh, that's our friend, the court sorcerer. He's quite an, quite an intelligent gentleman. Up there, we have some poison arrows. Thonk. I still haven't got the uh, hawk ring, have I? I have to go back and get it one day. Uh, this guy's got exceptional lock on range, by the way. I frames? Almost. You can get some lucky hits in. You gotta you gotta be careful. Hey buddy, you're not done. Better lock on range than us. He's playing mod well, he's playing with mods down there, the cheater. Come on. Alright, see you later, fucker. We're gonna death blow him. If he doesn't die from the toxic. Yeah, I've got two of those, don't I? Fun times. Fun times, farming in Irafil. He's probably gonna die any second now. And he hath. Valist? Oh yes, of course. Profane Capital Water Park opens today. No hyper armor for you, fucker. Alright. Let's go grab his scroll of scrolliness. And then delve into the mucky muck. Uh, yeah, the... Yeah, mucky muck. Enter the crevasse. Fill it. With a charged R2. Logan scroll. Scroll of Logan Paul. In his eternal wisdom, he entered, um, the, that forest, that movie The Forest is based off. You know, that one. The one I don't know by name. The Suicide Forest one. In a very clever move. Not culturally uh, insensitive at all. Of course not. Half-hearted apology videos followed. Truly, it was the end of the law. Oh wait, no it wasn't. Anyway, enough about that shit. Um, toxic. Good stuff. Good stuff. All for the curse bite ring, which I will never fucking use. So the dudes over at Kareem were like, you know, why don't we make rings that take on the curse instead? And stones. Ooh, and while we're at it, rings that can take frost and poison and bleeding. And one that can do everything, in fact. A bit of it, a bit of all of it. I forget, is that? That's just in the mods, right? That's not a real ring in the base game. The flesh bite or whatever it is. Maybe it is, I forget. Alright. Well, here's the fun part. We have some lovely fellows in here. They're quite the chats. Very good at entertaining. Grab the kukris. And we're going to swap over to a bandit knife. Plus six. Right, um, hmm, took me a while to realize that, yeah, they're kind of like manus, ain't they? Now, from memory, is it three or four of these? It is four. Oh, uh, sorry, three. My bad. Alright, where is it? So, any, d any form of damage while we're going for that knocks them over, which is why Armor of Thorns is a fucking godsend for this. Also, you can bleed the hell out of them. The Eleanora, pretty rad axe. Not very good, but conceptually I like it. Wish it was actually kind of decent. Um, so that grab attack. One might get me in it. And what it does is it drains souls. You know, things that hollows feed on. Perhaps you've seen it, maybe in a dream. A murky forgotten land. One where these guys don't give a shit about when they should... Yep. Be getting fucking staggered by damage. Bitch. Alright. 
That's all of them down. Down here, at least. Monstrosity ahead. Try eliminating one at a time. All for more purging stones, which we don't even need because I ain't hollow properly yet. Now, let's see. What do we get? What's actually worth looking at? Yeah, so Logan Sorceries. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, a oh, lightning blade, of course. That's pretty rad. Might use that in the future. I got plans. Where's Eleonora to have a quick look at? A strange weapon found among malformed inhabitants of the profane capital. The profane flame was triggered by the curse of these women, relatives of a certain oracle. But despite their culpability, they went on living without any cares. And feasting bell makes it do bleeding damage. Um, and restore a bit of HP. Wish it was better. I know, speaking of Moose Torrent, he has a video using a certain glitch that works with that. I never got around to watching it, but I'd be interested to know what the bug is. As long as it isn't, you know, cheating. That's kind of lame. Alright, one more. And there's another mimic behind that ass here. Did you see a Butterfree? Whip its ass. Dung pies. What needs to live in? Wait a minute, I made that joke. The Court Sorcerer uh, set. Again, I don't know about a lot of Star Trek. Wait, let's try that again. I don't know much about Star Trek. But that looks like that hat I saw Q wear once in a screenshot. Probably while he was trolling everyone. From what I know, John Delancey's a pretty cool guy. Never really seen anything he's in. But, yeah, seems pretty alright. I'll have ten chocolate sundaes. I've never seen anyone eat ten chocolate sundaes. I'm in a really bad mood. 